It's really going to show about our 4K 30 AVYP system with the bidirectional IR and also using working with the third party controller. Okay, by the UDP commands. So here's my setup. Basically, I have like two encoders, and the encoder we have the IR cable which we connected, and this one is going to be the IR out, and this is going to be the IR in, which is going to be we can use the IR remote, and this one is going to be controlled like my uh, me player source here, and then two LAN cable uh, goes to the Apple PV switch. Then here's my control host, and I have the IR out as well, so I can send the IR out through the AVYP then goes to the receiver side on the receiver side here I have like two receivers on the two receiver I have like IR out which is these two are connected this two TV here and then I have another one is going to be the ANA unit which is control the uh, Philips TV over there and those are three different type of brands of the TVs okay and here's the IR in which I'm going to I can use the IR remote, which I can control the uh, input source. Like right now, I'm just going to aim into the side, so I can just control this. Uh, this is from the me player input source. Like, turn up the volume. Right, turn down the volume. Turn up the volume. Turn down the volume. If I just remove this IR sensor here, then we can see it's not working. Okay, so basically I can get the IR from the uh, decoder back to the receiver side, uh, back to the transmitter side, then transmitter side, go to the player here. And another way is I mean just I can just capture like the uh, t this TV from this side here. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, increase the volume. Turn down the volume. Right. Just like this is how we can do the controls. Or turn off the TV. Right. And turn the TV back. Okay, so this one is like how we can get the bidirectional IR using the physical uh, IR remotes. But like right now we have like different IR remotes. If we want to just have them uh, controlled over our controller, then we can just use this IR learning box. It's kind of like the web drive based. Then we can learn the IR codes from like different remotes that we can generate to our controller. This IR learning box is web drive based. It's pretty much just looks like this one. Okay, so this is the IR learning box interface. Then we can just learn the codes. Then we can download them or we can input them. And here's going to be uh, our uh, controller. And on our controller, we have the user knob, which we can just program like the buttons, like with different background image things. And also like if we can just move this button a little bit, then we can just move, right. Okay, I'll just move it here. Then we can just upload. Before we upload, we can check out my previous settings. So my previous UI is pretty much looks like this one. So I can just like turn off all the TVs. Just simply click this button. Right, then I can have like all three TVs are turning off. Sending the uh, command through the controller to the uh, transmitter here, then through transmitter, then along the way go to the AVYP system, then from the uh, receivers, then go to the TVs. Okay, I can have that back again. All TV will turning back. Okay, right. All three TV are turning back now. And uh, now I just like shoot about the vision knob, which I just moved this TV on off button, like uh, far away from the Okay, so I can just upload them and we can choose at the uh, B set. Okay, enter. And then we can just back to the, uh, the previous page. Then we can just give it a refresh. So, go to the TV and source control. Now we can see we have the TV all off button, like remove, adjust the position. We also can just like control the uh, TVs independently. Like right now, I'm just going to increase volume, then uh, decrease the volume, right? 
off. Right, tighten the back. Okay, so this is the uh, we can control like the Changhong TV as well, Philips TV as well, and this one is to control the source directly, and also we can control the uh, AV IP system uh, without a controller, but we just use the UDP command directly. I mean, I have like two source and two TVs. We can just let the source, then we can do the switching, right? One by one. But what we also can do is we can just let the source, then we can switch to all the TVs. Like, because that one is didn't showing up the source, I can have it shows up. Choose the age to my input. Right. Okay. Switching back to the laptop. And switching back to the uh, Mi player. Okay, so this is the AVYP which is sending the commands. If we didn't want to use the central country, but we also have this one. This is the, our AVYP country software, we call it as AVYP. AVYP light, then we can just switch into all outputs. Even you can do like the preview of the input source on the left side and the preview of the outputs on each TV. Okay. Thank you. So this one is the short demo about our AVIP system with the bidirectional IR and also working with the third party control system uh, via UDP commands. Okay, thank you.